those of you who have been with me for any time know that I have been involved in pursuing CRISPR and the CRISPR technology, the CRISPR science, and it's driven in great part because of my family history with cancer. And I believe that CRISPR will pro eventually provide us with a cure for cancer and CRISPR editing will give us the ability to take it out of our bloodline. So I look for a crystal ball, a crystal ball to give me kind of a horizon of when is this going to happen? And Carrie, when is it going to come to fruition as you believe it will? And particularly in light of the coronavirus and the focus on health cure from health care. So what is this crystal ball going to be able to tell me? What can I look into it and see? And I think the first thing it will take me to is history and history will give me some clue as to what is going to happen and when it might happen and how I should proceed. So that's what this video is all about. And you're going to see it's done a little bit differently because I love to experiment. I love to find, look into the future and find different ways to do different things. This video is more financial education than financial advice because in this video, I hope to show you a glimpse into the through future through my crystal ball. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Part of what caused me to make this video was yesterday's turn down of 10% in CRISPR stock and then followed by another 10% today based on its findings uh, of its use of CRISPR T therapy CTX130 for, for patients with relapses or refractory renal cell carcinoma. I'm not sure what that means, but they had a study and that study had mixed results. They had one patient that in the um, group that they tested it on that had total recovery. They had two patients in the same cohort developed uh, stable disease. And then they had three other patients that had mixed results, giving them an overall efficiency rating of 79%. This sounds to me as something that if I were in that cohort, and I had that disease, I'd want to be involved in it. I'd want to see what happens next. I think we we tend to think that uh, this sort of science is going to give us positive results immediately, and those results are going to change the world. The investment world isn't very patient. We know that. We have seen that in many industries. Let's just take a look and uh, looking back at the aviation industry. I don't think this is a parallel to the science that we're dealing with in, um, in CRISPR, but any number of t attempts in any number of uh, directions are pursued to come to a uh, positive conclusion. And as Orville and R Wilbur Wright did, they escorted us into the current world of aviation, which is now looking to uh, colonize Mars, uh, led by Elon Musk. But many attempts at trying to get flight failed before they achieved their objective and then progressed to where we are today. The other uh, vision I get when I look into my crystal ball is we know who the Wilbur and uh, Orville Wrights are. We've identified them as the George Church, Fred Zhang, uh, Emmanuel Carpentier, and Jennifer Doudna. And we've identified the companies that they are dealing with. Some of them will succeed, some of them will fail. But we know by looking into my crystal ball who the players are. If then you want to pursue this, if you believe there is a future in this type of um, science, then you need to read the books. And those, these are the books I suggest, The Code Breaker, Lifespan, 
in the crack in creation. If you want to look deeper into the crystal ball, you have to have knowledge. You have to be able to understand the potential that lies here that someday through genome sequencing and genome editing, they will literally be able to take diseases like cancer, like heart disease, like Parkinson's, out of our bloodline. That is to say, they will sequence the genes of my granddaughter's egg and her fiance's sperm and recognize the mutations that are in their bodies, in their sperm and their egg, use CRISPR, use the technology that is being developed today and go in and remove those mutations so that those diseases are removed from their bloodline forever. That's what is we are at the verge of. This is the electric vehicle in 1869. Yes, that's when the first electric vehicle was, uh, was uh, discovered, was built, was marketed, but it took until 2020 for it to really come to its fruition. I don't believe we will have to wait over a hundred years for CRISPR and Editus and Invade to mature and provide us with the dream cure for disease, not treatment for disease, but cure. That's what I'm looking into my crystal ball to find, and that's what I'm, I believe will happen. I've created a tribe, a group of people who want to be a part of this, who want to learn together, who want to share knowledge so that we can stay ahead of this. As a result of that, I get videos, I get articles that I then share with my tribe to say, here is where we are now, here's where I think we're going, and this is what the future holds for us. If this is the kind of tribe that you would like to be a part of, just go into the description and find your way to our Discord. There you will meet people of like mind, and you too can look into a crystal ball and see what is going to happen in the future, who you can invest in, and how you can change the lives in many capacities for those who follow you. That's what Best of Us Investors is all about. We're all about the future. Come on this fantastic journey with us.